I've got everything. Got what? I know who the strongest is between the monkey and the crab. You mean the folklore? The battle between the monkey and the crab? Yeah. Wasn't that the story about the monkey, crab, bee, chestnut, and mortar? And you know who the strongest is? No. What? You're forgetting the most important one. The one who was able to solve the problem. The most important one? Mr. Poop. P poop Yeah! The poop that the monkey slipped on. Right? No! The person behind the curtain was Mr. Poop. I learned it yesterday. Yesterday? <sighs> Did you do something? Yeah! We practiced the monkey and the crab. Oh yeah, the school play. Isn't that it? You learned it there? Yeah, I'll teach you, Mom. All right, who wants to do the crab? I want to be the baby crab. I want to be the bee. Great, everyone wants to do different things. I don't know. Oh, you haven't decided. That's rare. So, Momo, what do you want to become? I decided I want to be Mr. Poop. What? Um... There isn't a role for that. <laughs> How about Mommy Crab? Mr. Poop can be Inazuka. No, I want to be Mr. Poop. I feel a deep connection to it. Inazuka will be the monkey. Um, there won't be people around the play outside the school. Just try it. Inazuka, go. All right, my lady. Uh, where did you come from? I'm sorry. Fine. Just this once, okay? All right. Start! Man, this tastes good. Hey, monkey, stop! These are for the kids! Wait! Mr. Heiji, too? And he's the mother crab, too. Be quiet. Eat this! <laughs> Take that! Mommy, no! <sighs> How could you hurt my mom? I'll hurt you now. I'll help too. Uh, ow. Leave it to Mr. Poop to finish him off. I won't allow my friends to be hurt. Wait, wait, Sumomo. What is that thing at the end of the stick? Mr. Poop, from the dog. <laughs> Don't run away, monkey. Inazuka, you can't run. M my lady, I can't do this. <laughs> Mr. Inazuka being bullied by preschoolers. This is hilarious. Let me take a video. Hey, G. You. I, uh, Mr. Inazuka, we need to run now. Sumomo, the true evil is Mommy Crab. She was trying to keep all the food for herself. Wait, Mr. Inazuka, you can't change folklore like that. That's horrible. Inazuka, thank you. For opening my eyes. Mommy Crab, you must die now! Wait, Sumomo! Stop, please! No! Oh, Mr. Poop is on my head! Quit it, everyone! That's how I found out yesterday! Ha! Huh, what is happening? <laughs> That's more like it, Sumomo! Yori, stop laughing! Yeah, Sumomo. Please, no more Mr. Poop at the school play, okay? Yeah, Sumomo is sorry. I made Heiji cry. Promise us you won't do it again? Yeah. Ugh, Heiji, I'm so sorry. I'll go apologize later. But, Himari, back in high school, you... Ah! Stop! Don't say anymore! <gasps> Please, say it! Don't say it! I'm Himari. A 32-year-old housewife. I live with my husband, Iori, and my daughter, Tsumomo, and we're a normal, happy family. Well, except Tsumomo is crazy. Who raised her like that? Well, actually, I was exactly like that right up until high school graduation. Ugh, <sighs> so many bad memories. I hope Tsumomo becomes a decent person because I know I am. Or at least... I think so. I'm not very confident, though. <sighs> One day...
I'm home. Hey! Welcome home. Hey, my mother called just now and she wants Simomo to stay with her over the weekend. Oh, Simomo wants to go. I want to see Grandpa and Grandma, especially Grandma. I want to see her very bad. I'll be a good girl. So, please. Um. Oh, uh, what is it? No, nothing. It's just, didn't she stay over two weeks ago? Is that okay? Yeah, of course. They both love Sumomo. All right. If they insist, maybe she can go. Sumomo will practice for the school play with Grandpa and Grandma. Oh yeah, the school play. What role are you going to play? <sighs> Teacher banned Mr. Poop, so I persuaded her, and I'll be the persimmon that drops on the mommy crab. He's strong too, so I'll train by Bumping into Grandma! Don't bump into Grandma! Oh yeah, because Mother is a little fat. I hope she's a little thinner now. Uh, I don't really want to have her stay there. His mother really does like Sumomo, but <laughs> she doesn't like me. She always talks down on me. I don't even want to see her face, but time passed and it was the weekend. Thank you for watching over Tsumomo. It's okay. I'll take great care of her because I'm sure you can't. Hey, don't talk to her like that. Hey, Mom, you can't bully Himari like that. I'm not bullying her. I'm just speaking the truth. Honestly, I wanted Iori to marry my friend's daughter, Miss Kaori, instead of Himari. I had everything planned out, you know? What? You thieving cat! Stealing Iori away from us! I can't stand it! How could this be? Thieving cat? I fell in love with Himari! And for Kaori, neither of us wanted to get married. It was just you and her mother! Iori, you're just delusional right now! You can't see the truth. You should marry Cody. It's what's best for you. Hey, stop it already. Everyone, take deep breaths. <gasps> uh, Sumomo. Now, we just need to move our bodies to relieve stress. Grandma, let's tackle each other. I want to practice for our school play. Let me use your belly! Hey, Tsumomo, stop. Wow! Tsumomo, you love my stomach that much? Come inside. You can touch it all you want. Yeah! Be prepared. I think Tsumomo was worried about me. I feel kind of bad. I'm always so sorry, Mrs. Himari. No worries. Maybe she's having bad mood swings. She's pretty harsh on everyone. I'll tell her to stop. It's okay. I'm so sorry. Well, you two get a lot of rest. We'll take care of Sumomo. Thank you very much. Thanks. Ugh, that's why I don't like to see her. But just like my father-in-law said, Today was much worse than usual. I wonder why. Well, maybe it really is mood swings, but is that justifiable? Oh, and Miss Cowdy is my mother-in-law's friend's daughter. She was trying to get Iori to marry her since they were little, but... But since we decided to get married, mother-in-law is still furious at me. <sighs> at least she's kind to Sumomo. What do you want to do today? How about we stay home and rest today? That's what I thought. Let's get stuff to eat then. Sure. We decided to get food and drinks to relax at home. <sighs> I love to spend time with the three of us, but I love to spend time with Iori too. <laughs> oh, you seem happy. It's only times like these where I get to have fun drinking because Tsumomo always comes and tries to steal my drink. Yeah, that's true. Well... That's also a lot of fun, though. When we were talking, the doorbell rang. I wonder who it is. Thanks. Let me get the door. 
Delivery. Oh, um, thanks. Delivery? And it's from mother-in-law. I wonder what it can be. I wonder why she sent us delivery, even though we met today. Imari, what was it? Yeah, your mother sent us something. Huh? My mother? Yeah, wonder what it is. Yeah, let's see. Wow, it's crabs. I love crabs. Wow, crabs? Oh yeah, they send us crabs annually around this time of year. It's because you like crabs, huh? Yeah, let's have these and some sake today then. That sounds great. Oh look, they have the crabs separated for you and me. Huh? Separated? I wonder why. Oh well, let's eat it. Then, mother-in-law suddenly called us, which rarely happens. Because she was like, that today. I was going to thank her tomorrow. If I got a call today, I might as well thank her now then. Hello? Thank you for the crabs. Oh! They arrived, huh? Yes. And? Did you eat them? Yes. Oh, no, no, no! Actually, the crabs I sent for you were all rotten! Huh? Rotten? What do you mean? I bought those at the fresh market two weeks ago! <laughs> I sent those on accident. Wait, really? Yeah, really! I'm so sorry. You already ate those, right? No. Actually, I'm allergic, so Iori ate all of them. Uh, what? Iori? Wait, no! Don't eat it! Too late. He's already eating it. This is bad. What were you thinking giving them to Iori? Please, bring him to the hospital now! Uh, okay, okay. Iori, those crabs are rotten, apparently. Huh? Really? They were delicious. And they were also frozen, so it should be okay. Oh, right. And I've told her you were allergic to crabs and to send us different things. But man, she doesn't listen, huh? But wait, are you okay? Maybe stop eating them now. Oh, another call. This time, it was from my father-in-law. Hey, buddy. I'm so sorry. Huh? I'll talk to you about what happened tomorrow. About the crab thing, did you hear from mother-in-law? Yeah, you guys can eat yours. No need to go to the hospital. Ha! Huh. I need to bring mother to the hospital now. What? I wonder what happened. The next day, father-in-law brought Tsumomo back to the house. I'm home! Welcome back, Tsumomo. I heard mom went to the hospital. Is she alright? Oh, yeah. What happened? <sighs> Tsumomo couldn't quit being Mr. Poop. I had good practice. Huh? Well... Oh no, no! I was going to have Chimari eat the crabs and send her to the hospital, but now Iori's going to the hospital. <sighs> what do I do? Hey, Grandma! Wait, I stepped on something. What is this? Mr. Poop. M Mr. Poop? of a dog. Eww. Mr. Poop is the best. Mr. Poop is Justice! She slipped and fell on the poop. I brought justice to Grandma and also justice to Kaori's mom. They are evil. Oh, uh, Kaori's mom too? Yeah. Yeah, actually. What we heard from father-in-law was shocking. Turns out, mother-in-law and Cowdy's mother planned to poison me together. For they gave up on forcing a marriage between Cowdy and Iori after I married him. But recently, they decided they could get rid of me by bullying me out of the family. So they planned to poison me with rotting crab meat. But two weeks ago, Tsumomo heard about this plan. And she slipped the rotting crab meat meant for me with the one sent to Cowdy's mother. So now, Cowdy's mother is in the hospital with food poisoning now. The reason she wanted to see Grandma so badly was to practice bringing justice to evil. <sighs> I can't wrap my head around this. Thanks, Sumomo. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. But? Yeah? We promised no more Mr. Poop, right? Punishment for you, Sumomo. I 
didn't know she was weak to tickles. Later, rumors spread that my mother-in-law slipped on poop and went to the hospital around the neighborhood and she became a shut-in. Father-in-law got fed up with her and they divorced. As for her friend, because of food poisoning, she couldn't eat her favorite foods and was mentally unstable. Cowdy also heard what happened and she hasn't gone back home since. Well, they get what they deserve. Time passed and it was time for the school play. Tsumomo eventually gave up and became the mommy crab, although I heard it took some time. I'm so excited! Yeah, I can't wait to see your daughter act. What does that mean? You'll soon see what I mean. Well, everyone, here's the monkey and the crab. Mr. Crab, will you trade a large rice ball with a persimmon seed? No, these are for the kids. <laughs> She's doing great. Yeah, she is. The play went along smoothly. Wow, Samomo is doing so well. She must have worked so hard. She remembered all her lines. Monkey, stop! Those are for the kids! Be quiet and eat this! Ow! That was fatal. This is it. No more regrets. Wait, I don't remember this part. Stand up! Stand up, Mommy Crab! Huh, Rin? It all ends when you quit, remember? May? See? Mr. B is saying the same thing! Wait, what is going on? Sumomo will do this! Mommy Crab is up! Yes! Please, share your power with Mommy Crab! Everyone, reach out your arms now! Hurry! Uh, okay. Huh? Why would you do that? Let's do it too. Huh? Oh, okay. Yes! Yes! I can feel it! Go! Tsumomo Ball! Ah! Just like this, the threat of Nawasa City was wiped away by Mommy Crab. Please stay to find out what happens next. What is happening? Wow, what a play. <sighs> this is Tsumomo's fault, isn't it? Probably. <laughs> that was amazing. My lady, she's all grown up. I need to yell at her, huh? After the play, I scolded Sumomo a lot. Turns out, it was her that wrote the lines. She's hilarious, but slightly dangerous sometimes. <sighs> I need to watch over her and see the positives about her. I have Yori by my side too. <laughs> I'm so excited!